Hey, hey, what's going on, legends? Welcome back. So before we get into keyframes with audio, uh, I want to talk about audio in the next couple of videos, how to improve it, how to remove background hisses, all that ambient noises. I want to talk about something that could save your life. Probably not but could save you from maybe getting in trouble with a boss or a coworker or maybe a client. I want to talk about how to duplicate a project in Final Cut Pro 10. I probably could have done this way back when, maybe in like the, I don't know, 10th or under video. Uh, we've learned a lot and we've kind of outgrown that stage, but I just had this happen to me. I was working on a project for a client and I didn't know if I wanted to send it to him or edit it. So what I did is I kept the original and then I used, I duplicated it and then used the duplicate as a template. It's a very quick and easy video. This is all you do. So you're right down here. We've got our keyframes with audio. We're going to talk about those in the next video. Here's what you do. This was called, Hey, Hey, let's go ahead and just right click and, or you can do shortcut, uh, command D duplicate project. It's going to be called the exact same thing, probably with an underscore one next to it. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Hey, Hey, yep. Hey, Hey one. Here's the original. Here is the duplicate. Uh, you want to get rid of it? Move to trash just like that. So keep in mind, this is good. If you think you've got something right, uh, you've got progress on something and you want it, maybe show it to your boss or a coworker. But in the meantime, you want to work on other things. I would go ahead and duplicate the project uh, before a client coworker or boss signs off on what you did. Good luck with this. Hopefully this made sense. You guys are all modern day warlocks. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video where we talk about audio.